kind of forget, but I like to just, um, you know, this is their space, right? So when I come in the mornings and I open the gate, I kind of stand at the gate for a minute and let them know I'm here instead of just barging in. I feel like sometimes we forget that somebody just kind of walks in and walks right up to you. Trained or not, it's not really polite, so I like to be polite when I come in and greet them and make sure that he's ready. So this is Governor. Um, we think he's about nine years old. He was rounded up in 2018 um, from Northern California. And he came here in 2019. Yeah, so he was rounded up in 2018 from Modoc County National Forest in Northern California, and then came to the Equestrian Center in 2019. And Kim, and Kim Foreman is the one who started him originally, and she worked with Jason, and he was a student of hers learning how to work with wild horses. And so he's had quite a bit of handling by all types and all levels. Um, but there's been a lot of kind of on and off training and so he's been handled for a few months and then nobody go touches him for a few months and then back and forth and so we're just trying to get him a little bit more consistently trained and see how it goes. like to use the lunging process just kind of as a warm-up let him get all the nerves out um, if he's feeling a little bit jumpy or wild keep going he's not used to hearing me talk while I lunge him <laughs> um, yeah I try not to get him too exhausted I just want him to stretch out his muscles get everything nice and ready to work pretty cold-blooded he's not once you get going you know he's willing to work but he's not you don't you don't have to put the brakes on he's more of a kind of a kick ride he needs to learn that when he's working he's working and when he's not he's not and he needs to kind of pay attention to what I'm asking of him so it's just the little things and being really consistent about the little things and building upon that, that makes for a good foundation, I think. Good boy. Whoa. I think that this guy could be, um, 
I mean, I think he could be, he's a good fit with somebody who knows about horses or doesn't know about horses. I mean, I think he could easily fit into any kind of home because he's not a difficult horse by any means, you know? And like I said, I mean, I've had my four-year-old on this horse. And if he pulls through my hand a little bit, or if he goes to drop his head, I try to just leave him be, not micromanage, and override. I'm trying to give as little direction as I need to, and he needs to maintain the line. Back. Good boy. All right. Canner. Yeah, I think this horse is just so easy going that he could go to a home with an owner that has, you know, very little or more experience. It wouldn't really matter. Sometimes with these young Mustangs, you get a little bit worried. They need somebody with a little bit more experience and know-how around horses, but kids have been on this horse and he did the kissing booth last year even for the day of the horse fundraiser for free reign and um, they were a little bit worried that he was going to be nervous and he was just a dream to have I mean he behaved himself the whole time and so he's just as easy as they come I think easy to handle easy to ride really straightforward yeah when they work hard like this and um, I give him a bath, I like to just tie him up one so he can, I mean, he's not hot anymore, but he can cool down before he eats anything or drinks anything. I mean, he's been walking for long enough now that I can tie him up next to his water while he dries, but it's good for him to stand a little bit too. Um, 
otherwise you can be sure that as soon as I let him loose in his pen, he's going to drop down and roll around. <laughs> You're gonna scare yourself. Yeah. <laughs> 